right, welcome to this transfer demonstration on how to transfer your Keith Herring project. So I've done a really simple Keith Herring style drawing on newsprint, but I want it to go on my final paper. We're gonna use a technique called transfer. So I'm gonna take my newsprint and flip it over to the back. And I'm gonna take a piece of graphite, which is what's inside a regular pencil. So if you don't have graphite, just use a pencil. And we're gonna cover the back of our image in graphite. So the newsprint is kind of fragile. You wanna go slow and steady. Because if you're too aggressive, you will rip the paper. But we want to coat the whole back of this piece in graphite. Now I'm going to take my final paper and my drawing and I'm going to put the drawing on top of the final paper like so. Now I'm going to take some masking tape. You need a couple little pieces of masking tape. And we're going to do something called buffing the tape where I'm going to sticky and unsticky on my sweater. All I'm doing is putting a little sweater fuzz on this tape, and that's helping the tape become less sticky so that it doesn't accidentally tear your final paper. So I'm gonna use this whoops, come on, to tape it to the final paper so it's not moving around while I'm transferring. And now I'm gonna take a pen. I like to use a colored pen because I can see it easier. And you're gonna come through and you're gonna trace over all your lines. And I'm not pushing super hard. I'm pushing about as hard as I would if I were writing notes. Now, if you have an area that has really straight lines, like the lines of your center circle that go around, use a ruler during your transfer. All right, so the pressure from the pen pushed down on the graphite on the back side of the newsprint and left a graphite image behind. There we go. Now it's graphite, so if there's any mistakes or smudges, like get a little smudge, you just take a regular eraser and it goes away. So I've got a few little smudges going on and that's perfectly normal. And if there's anywhere that you kind of goofed up, you're like, oh, I want to touch that up, you can just erase and then come in with your regular pencil to kind of resketch it back in. So at this point, you can come in with a Sharpie and outline all of your pencil lines, and then we'll go from there.